I can't wait to see my ancestral lands basking in the sunshine. Is this my kingdom? All those stories I heard about the wealth of Kiltar are a cruel lie. Don't despair, Sandokan. Makassar. Look again. You will see what has been and what will be. It's amazingly beautiful. In Kiltar grows the golden orchid flecked with blue. In Kiltar flies the snowy-breasted ptarmigan. Kiltar is like paradise on Earth. You've shown me what I have to do. You will be a good Raja for your people, as was your father. Thank you, Magasar. Thank you. Farewell, Sandokan. Watching the English retreat was better than a sleeping pill. If I know Brooke, he won't give up all that easily. Yes, sooner or later he'll be sneaking up behind us. And if he does, he'll just stay behind us. We'll be much too clever and quick for him ever to get in front of us. You can say that again. Oh, Sandokan! I scouted Nasumbata's palace defenses. He only has ten cannon. After all we've been through, ten cannons sounds like mere child's play. We have no lack of courage, but if we attack, Nasumbata is sure to fire on the village. He'd kill women and children mercilessly just to stop us. So what is your plan then, Sandokan? The three of us will go in first. We'll pretend to be messengers from Brook, and once we're inside there, we'll find a way to spike his cannon. It's far too dangerous. What if Nasumbata discovers you? Don't worry. We know things that he thinks only he and Brooke know. The ruse will work. Then please take me with you. Nasumbata is my brother. I am the only one who knows how to deflect his cruelty. It is something I learned as a child. No, you run the risk of being recognized. We haven't seen each other in 20 years and I'll keep my face covered up. I can be of great use to you. Welcome aboard. We'll pass you off as our guide. Your task will be to organize a line of defense here. If the governor does manage to find his way up here, well, I'm positive you'll make him regret it. Exactly. You're the lookout. Take the spyglass. As soon as you see the cannons fall from the ramparts, give the order to attack. I'll shout so loud the mountains will shake. <laughs> All right now, everyone to his appointed task. He's got Tremel Nike with him, too. This time it's different. He's going to be facing the man who killed his family. How can he stay cool-headed and calm? Your breakfast, my lord. 
This worm is almost dead. I collected them barely an hour ago, my lord, I swear it. <laughs> In that case, as a reward, you can have one. Your generosity is overwhelming, my lord, but I've already eaten. Am I to understand you're refusing my gift? You would offend <laughs> your lord? <laughs> Ah, oh, this is boring. You're all so weak-willed. No one ever provokes me. Who would dare, my lord? The sun itself shrinks from rising without your leave. Yes, I know. My power is unrivaled. I must invent a new game. Something that will make people weep and moan with terror. But I'm afraid I've already tried everything. Get out of my sight. The folks around here are pretty unfriendly, it would seem. These people live in constant fear for their lives. We're being observed. Gannets, wave to them as though we belong here. What's all this black dust everywhere, Sandokan? It's from the mines. It may seem strange, but diamonds come from the same material as coal. And what are you gonna do with your diamonds when you become Raja? I'm going to leave them right where they are, little brother. Underground, where they can't cause trouble for anyone. Make your escape while you still can, stranger. It's very kind of you to be concerned, man, but we have nothing to be afraid of. Here they are. I'm sorry for you. It's too late now. Uh-oh. By what right do you come to Kiltar? We bear a message for Nasumbata. Oh, really? And who is it from? Queen Victoria? <laughs> no, it is not from the Queen. It is from Governor James Brooke. Oh, Brooke. What does the Governor want? I am charged with revealing it only to Nasumbata himself. Very well, strangers. Come with us. We'll take you to the August Presence. But don't blame me if you never leave it. If he meant that to sound ominous, it did. Follow us. Some strangers desire audience with you, my lord. They have a message from Lord Brooke. Well, send them in, man. Send them in. As my lord wishes. <laughs> the old boy has a taste for the macabre, doesn't he? Which might just work to our advantage. Well, what is this message from Lord Brooke? There was a mix-up in the last shipment, and Lord Brooke has decided he doesn't trust Li Tang and his men anymore. About time he came to his senses, I never trusted that man for a moment. And how is old Brooksy? Is he well? He's concerned about you, my lord. He has reason to believe that you're in danger. And so, he has sent us here with orders to defend you. I have a hundred men at my orders and ten cannon ready to fire. Who could possibly be a threat to me? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Your predecessor's son, Sandokan, the Tiger of Mompersem. <laughs> no one survived that glorious night. I witnessed their death throes with my own eyes. A magnificent spectacle it was. I would watch it every night if I could. I assure you, my lord, my friend is telling the truth. The Raja's son is alive and seeks revenge. That's absolute nonsense. This belongs to Sandokan. He lost it during a fight. <sighs> then it's true. Give them the run of the place. Show them the cannons, the fortifications, whatever they want to see. Yes, my lord. Just a minute. A chameleon. They make adorable pets. I had one once as a child. I'll take that one. <laughs> My lord, I'm afraid I can't give him to you. I want that chameleon. Wait, he doesn't mean to offend you, my lord, but to him, that chameleon is more than a pet. It's a friend. 
Huh? He can call that animal a friend? Take it from him. The man is obviously stark raving mad. It would be more fun if it was the object of a wager. Yeah, that's a good idea. Certainly. Hmm. What do you say we chance it on the throw of a dice? Ah, dice are so boring. I know a much better game than that. Do you see anything, Kamamuri? <sighs> Nothing interesting's happened yet! I thought they would have been back long ago. All your arrows must hit the revolving drum, but not your companion. Do you think you can do that? That's 12 flaming arrows in a row, and if you fail, that sweet little chameleon will be mine. This game seldom goes beyond three arrows. All this fuss over a little green lizard. Now I come to think of it, I wonder if I'd miss him that much. You can tell by his eyes he needs a lot of love, just like you. Start spinning! What's the matter? Hand feeling unsteady? Steady as a rock, my lord. I had an excellent teacher. Turn it more quickly! Makassar taught me many things, even though he was only a servant. Stop all this chatter! Shoot! He saved my life while my father was being killed by base treachery. He's the one who told me the truth about what happened that night. And I swore that I'd have my revenge. This game has ceased to be amusing. Then try this one, murderer! <laughs> Trust me anymore? care of the gods who are following us. We'll have to try the other door. I have never known them to be closed at this hour before. Mazumbata's the only one with the key. He's sending for reinforcements. I used to be pretty good with locks. We need a few seconds advantage. Thanks, that's very kind of you. Open the door! Open the door! Any luck yet? Just about there, I think. Ah! Up the stairs, hurry! I 
I've had about enough of this. The cannons are being tipped over. That's the signal. I saw the signal! Tigers to the attack! Hey! Hey, wait for me! Stop! Brooks' army is coming up the ravine! <gasps> How will we ever stop them? <laughs> My lord, we are being attacked by a group of armed men! Quick, blow up the bridge! It's the only solution. Do as your lord commands you, now! Mm. How dare they attack me! The tiger flag! Our beloved Raja is back! Hurry! Hurry! We mustn't let them get across! Your little game is over! No, your game is over. Look around you. You have nothing left, Nasumbata. Maybe you're right. And maybe you're not. In any case, I'll take you all to hell with me. Nasumbata! You couldn't bring yourself to kill me 20 years ago. For a moment, you were a human being. Hirundo, my brother! May you burn in hell! Ah! 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 Uh, try to pull yourself up! Uh, We've got to move or we'll be burned to cinders! It's now or never! Let's go! Attacking formation! It looks more like a ceremonial parade than a battalion of infantry. So the only proof of Lord Brooke's misdeeds was on that sunken vessel. <laughs> Leave the lady alone, Paco. Thank you. Once I found Typhoon Fletcher, I discovered I was able to deduce who Governor Brooks' other accomplices in crime were, one by one. And then, of course, when very courageously Lord Guilonk sent me that wire, I got all the confirmation uh, I needed. I... So then, what's going to happen to them? I believe they're already on their way to the most remote and heavily guarded penal colony in the entire Empire. They're all there. Sapagar, the cruel Rajah of Sarawak. Suleiman, Sultan of Varuni, a notorious arms dealer. When do we get there? When's luncheon served? Me, Typhoon Fletcher, the fiercest pirate in the archipelago, rowing a garbage scow. As a pirate, you were an embarrassment. You sniveling little crab, I'll have you know I've got treasure hidden on every island in the Pacific. I've seen more diamonds in a single day than you have in your whole life. Yes, Typhoon Fletcher and Lee Tang are there too, along with two other gentlemen who are familiar to you. Will you stop all your unseemly, cowardly, ungentlemanly moaning? Don't shout so loud. I will shout all I like. If I've lost everything, it's thanks to you and your cousin, Kali. That's enough, you lazy swine. Put your backs into it. They have caused much trouble for many years for many people. I don't think they'll be bothering anyone for a long time. What are your plans, Lord Guilonk? I, I shall be taking over the governorship of Lavoin, Lady Marianne. To be confirmed if he shows he can handle the job. Congratulations, Lord Guilonk. I don't think they could have made a better choice for governor. Really?
Kiltar grows the golden orchid flecked with blue. In Kiltar flies the snowy breasted ptarmigan. Kiltar is like paradise on earth. Isn't it beautiful? I've never seen an orchid this color. I think we'll be happy here, Yanis, don't you? We'll have the palace built again in no time, and some big Leon can go back to planting his tobacco. And finally, Sandokan's heart will be at peace. Well, at least until he starts to feel the itch for a new adventure. Well, maybe the zoo can tell us what the future holds. Sorry, I've got to know what color it's showing. Don't go away! 